Preceding the fall of Nanking to the Japanese armies, Nippon's fleet on the Yangtze battered the Chinese shore defenses with heavy naval gunfire. The army marches on, aided by all the trappings of modern warfare, up to the very walls of the capital. Over the heap of debris that was Nanking's ancient defense, the Mikado's men surge on with the battle-scarred flags of the rising sun. No defense that China can devise, be it men or material, can withstand this relentless advance. Triumph is to the invader. In the Japanese concession in Shanghai, known as Little Tokyo, Japan celebrates again. In the international settlement, there is pity for the homeless. A million mouths must be fed by foreign charity. Who could wish starvation for these little ones? The governments of the civilized world condemn war, but there can never be any stronger condemnation than this. Japan's emperor has called the Imperial Conference to decide whether this war shall be made official by formal declaration. Agreement in the government could not be reached, and a declaration is thought to be unlikely. Official war would give Japan the right to search neutral shipping, and this would undoubtedly lead to incidents with consequences which none could foresee. Britain's patience is not inexhaustible. America in Shanghai has paraded her strength. 